as the regime targets the region's youth and leaders, it has also trained its eyes in taking over or destroying political parties associated with the region. The invasion of the Jubilee Party must be seen in this light. It is an attempt to cripple Mount Kenya leadership and create a crisis of governance of political parties in the region. The verification of our Azimio chairman, His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta, is also part of this evil scheme to subdue a whole community and region. This is totally unnecessary. Chinua Achebe once said, when or remarked, when did the rain start beating us? And we are say, asking, when did the rain start beating the mountain region? It is apparent that the destabilization of Jubilee Party and the destruction of established political leaders of the region is a do or die agenda for the KK regime, sponsored by the highest level of the Kenya Kwanzaa leadership to ensure that Mount Kenya region has no serious political party to challenge anti-Mount Kenya policies that appear to be driving the decisions of this regime. Many of the, me of the tax measures contained in the finance bill currently before Parliament are unreasonable and clearly directed not only at the nation, but particularly at Mount Kenya businesses. The proposed turnover tax is, a basic, is basically a tax on assets whose primary objective is to impoverish the Mamambogas, border borders, and other vulnerable Kenyans struggling to make a living in these difficult economic circumstances. The majority of these businesses, small businesses, are owned largely by men and women of the mountain region. 